What's going on, guys? First off, dig in the questions. Keep them coming. They're, they're great questions, so I can't wait to get to a lot of them. Um, first question is, is with a beginner or intermediate lifter, um, what do I think about mixed grip? Do I think they should um, do mixed grip? And uh, that they asked uh, or they stated that they heard that it, it uh, promotes imbalances. Now, mixed grip with deadlift is a part of deadlift. Um, yes, because it is mixed grip, it will, it will create an imbalance. But um, that's something you really, that's just been with deadlift. Um, um, if you are worried about uh, imbalances, alternate your mixed grip. Um, when I do teach deadlift, I always tell them, you know, grab uh, the underhand is your predominant hand and your overhand is your, you know, um, your overhand. Um, but if you want to, you know, alternate them, you know, every now and then to try to keep that balance, then that's good. There's nothing wrong with it. Now, um, uh, grip is grip. You have to train your grip just like you train everything else. So um, it'll take a little bit longer as far as grip training with that with that aspect. Um, always switch it up if that's what you want. Um, uh, you can do um, the hook grip if you want. But um, as far as imbalances, that's just something that's just something that came along with deadlift. Um, I'm a firm believer in mixed grip. Uh, I started off with mixed grip and I am mixed grip. Um, I do see some imbalances in my body as far as um, one bicep is slightly bigger than the other and um, one chest, one, one pec is uh, leaner than the other because of deadlift, but that's, that's, a, part of, that's a part of the game. Um, it is an imbalance, but it's, it's not an imbalance like as if you have um, uh, quads or, or hamstrings uh, something in that in that manner or lower back or things like that because your arms are not holding the body it's not really going to mess up your functionality of moving around and pushing energy through the ground as far as lifting um, now the second question was um, and I like his whole question but uh, I can't remember the whole thing but um, he is asking about the core, how to utilize the core and all that good stuff. So, of course, I'm big on the core. Um, how would it affect your body mechanics um, and your lifts? The way you're supposed to use the core? Uh, the thing is here is that what we do as far as lifting is the mindset of of everything that we do, we're, we're being taught how to control things, okay? From the day we are born, we're taught how to control things. That's, what, that's the problem of, that's the problem with the world right now. We always think we can control things, but, the li but our lives are to go with the flow. That's, that's the way we're supposed to live, go with the flow, go with the, uh, the way things are supposed to, supposed to work. So, um, with the core, my belief and what I've, I've learned in my experience is that um, we should use the core how the core is naturally used, uh, being used on a day-to-day on a -day -day basis. I know that's a broad answer, and I am going to get in-depth with it with some questions coming uh, soon, but what I want to relate with this question is that is that we need to get away from trying to control what our body's doing. Yeah, we know what these muscles do, but we don't supposed to control what those muscles do. When we actually do movements, the muscles automatically react. And that's why, um, that's why a lot of people are not even close to their potential. That's why I can, I can um, get as far in, in my strength as I've gotten and... Um, and I'm not, I don't even think I'm close to my potential by any means. Um, uh, 
So with that being said, how to use the core and how to change our body mechanics and change our lifts and strength, it's, it's, it's huge. Allow the core to work the way it's supposed to work and it will be a, um, a, a chain reaction to how things work in your body naturally. Okay, the last question is, do I read and if I do, what books? Do, uh, what, what are my favorite books? Um, I'm just now getting back into reading and all the reading that I'm doing is um, it's it's things that I've done naturally that I'm trying to I'm trying to actually get better at so um, in lifting when I say I know some of y'all watch some of the animal videos and I talked about it when I say lifting is spiritual to me it really is um, and there's things that I do when I lift that allows me to lift more because it's more of on the spiritual spiritual aspect as far as breathing, as far as meditating. Um, a lot of people are amazed how calm I am when I lift. It's a sense of meditating and and um, channeling energy um, with what I'm doing. So um, what with the books that I'm actually reading, it's not anything that I say that uh, it's the best, I have a favorite. I'm just doing a lot of research right now and trying to um, figure out what I'm doing naturally and uh, harness more and, and to get more out of it. Um, so as far as favorite books, I don't, I, I really can't say um, I have a favorite book right now. Um, there are some great books that I am reading, but um, that's the questions that I have for today and I hope y'all enjoy it. See y'all next time.